everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through your Peanuts monologue memorization day number four assignment. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be sharing my screen with you so that you can follow along with me as I'm going through the lesson. Um, when you open up your assignment, you are going to see the Lucy and Linus little picture with pumpkins on it. You're going to see that we are still working on Teak 2E and 2F. Teak 2E, which is express emotions and ideas using interpretive movement and dialogue. And then Teak 2F, which is to create environments, characters, and actions. Actions. Um, you're going to begin by filling in your the school email address, your theater class period, which if you are theater arts should be third, fourth, fifth, or seventh period. And then your last name, comma, your first name. We're going to begin with a warm up with, by doing our daily stretches. Um, you can use the flexibility that you see here, um, or you can do any other stretches that you like to do. Um, I have included a five minute timer like I usually do in order for you to keep track of your stretching. And then I have also included um, a place for you to mark off the stretches that you did. One that we just tried in one of our classes um, earlier today before I'm making this video was the trunk lift. I encourage you guys to try that one at home. Um, it's one that we don't do every day for class. And so I encourage you to have fun with it. Um, other than that, these are the ones that we typically do in class. I encourage you to try them at home on your own. The facial stretches that we usually do are the first um, three and then this one your tongue stretch which is nose chin side side nose chin side and side right deep breathing your jaw massage your big face and your little um, i really do encourage and i really hope that you all are stretching and warming up at home it's good for you and it's a good way to start class even if you're doing this assignment on your own your review question for today is, what does it mean to memorize something? As you are working on your memorization of your Peanuts monologue, what's the point? Why do you need to memorize it? Um, and what does it mean when I say we're memorizing something? Once you've answered that question, you are going to continue on to our first activity, which is going to be a Kid President and Peanuts video. You're going to watch the short video by clicking play on the player or by clicking the title. Life is like a blank sheet of paper. So that the video opens up in a new tab. You are going to give me your response, your reflection to the video, which is according to the video, why is life like a comment, a comic? So as you know, our Peanuts characters originally came from a comic strip, which later turned into um, TV show, movie specials, things like that. And so that's one of the things that Kid President is going to be talking about in the video. How is life like a comic? Go ahead and pause this video if you need to, to watch this one. Once you're done, we have, um, in case you need, we have the copies of the Charlie Brown monologues. Remember, most of you, if you've been doing your class assignments for theater, most of you have been um, it up. Oops. Most of you all have been, um, have already made a copy. If you search in your Google Drive for Peanuts Beats, yours should come up. Um, I have a bunch because I'm the teacher and everybody has shared their copies with me. And so I'm going to go to mine. You can use the same document that you have been using um, through all of our class assignments that has your beats marked out and separated. Um, this link right here is just in case you can't find your monologue for some reason and you wanna to get to it really quickly, you can use this link. Today, we're going to be continuing on with memorization strategies. Um, I suggest that you pick a different strategy than you have done before. Try one out that maybe um, you haven't worked on or maybe one that seems a little more challenging to you than the ones that we have done in class and that you have chosen yesterday. 
um, you're going to tell me which of the memorization strategies you're going to do. And then you will go ahead and do that strategy. Once you have practiced your monologue, you're going to give me an update for today. Now that you've practiced for a couple of days, how much of your monologue do you have memorized? And think back to your answer yesterday. Every day, the amount of lines that you know should be increasing. You should not be staying the same. So think about what score you typed in yesterday and think about where you're at now. And that will tell you whether you are right on track to memorize your monologue or maybe if you need to put in a little bit of extra effort to continue learning those lines. Once you are done, you will click submit and you are done for the day. If you have any concerns or questions about your monologue or about memorization, remember you can always reach out to me on Google Classroom comments, Remind 101 text message, emailing me at grayna at southwestisd.net or by popping in on our live sessions during the day. Um, remember, I wanna remind everybody, you will be tested on memorization this Thursday, November 19th. Those of you who are learning at home, you will be asked to submit a Flipgrid video showing me how much of your monologue you have memorized. If you are a face-to-face -face student, you will be reciting or saying your monologue out loud in front of me so that I can grade you and see how much you have memorized. Remember, this is not a grade on your acting skills or abilities. It is just a grade on do you know the lines or not. Keep memorizing and keep working. That's it for today, everyone. Remember, today is a great day. You are in control of you. And every day is a new day to try your best. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.